What up, folks? Once again, it's your boy Tim, the handsome liberal. The Kyle Rittenhouse case was not about race. You're hearing that everywhere, He's particularly coming from the right. Anybody who's in support of Kyle Rittenhouse or supporting him using a firearm in self-defense, hey, it's not about race. It's about a, a, an individual that was facing great bodily harm, and he had to do what he had to do to defend himself. That makes sense, right? Well, we're going to talk about that. Before we get into the video, I'm going to ask that you show me some love as I always do. Go ahead and hit that subscription. Click on the bell so you know when I'm dropping these videos. And at the end of this video, you may like or dislike what I just had to say. Click on the up or down arrow and let me know if you don't like it. Drop me a comment. I'll holler at you. All right. So, was it about race? Well, I'm asking that question because Kyle Rittenhouse is going to be on Tucker Carlson tonight. And I seen a, a clip of the video. They showed a little excerpt, and he did state that it had nothing to do with race. He also said he supports Black Lives Matter. So let's see how that goes down, particularly on a show like Tucker Carlson's. But uh, he did say it's not about race. Now, I pride myself on the channel. I try to be able to see both sides of lots of events. I mean, I told you in every video I've done about this that I expected Kyle Rittenhouse to walk uh, on, on a self-defense. I thought that was going to be successful, and I thought it was self-defense. I argued that he shouldn't be there, but based on the videos, uh, the video evidence, there was no doubt that he was facing grievous bodily harm and had to defend himself. So I never wavered from that opinion. But was it about race? Well, here's my response, though, the way I would look at it. Every year in America, thousands of people, and I mean thousands of people from small business owners to homeowners to folks just driving around in their cars pumping gas. Every year, thousands of Americans use a firearm in an act of self-defense. Yet, nobody calls them a hero. There's nobody donating money to them or anything. So the first question I would ask is, why is Cal Rittenhouse getting so much attention? And in addition to that, I would say that a lot of the other American citizens that use a firearm in self-defense, they get railroaded by the government. They get arrested, and a lot of them go, go to jail and have to fight their cases, too. So Cal Rittenhouse is not the first person to use a firearm in self-defense and be tried for murder in a court of law and fight and have to win his innocence. So nothing about what Kyle Rittenhouse did in regards to defending himself is new. It happens, like I said, every year, thousands of times. So what's so special about Kyle Rittenhouse? What do you think? You drop me a comment and you let me know. Why do you think that Kyle Rittenhouse has received, I mean, the guy received $2 million, $2 million in donations to his attorney, People are offering him jobs, all of that kind of stuff. Why do you think he's he's being treated a lot more favorably than a lot of other Americans that use firearms in self-defense? I mean, there are a lot of people who are doing time in prison right now who defended themselves with a firearm. So what's so special about Cal? I would like to know that from you guys. Now, I'm going to give you my take on it in regards to whether it was about race or not. From my standpoint... I strongly believe the reason that Cal Rittenhouse is being chided as a hero is because he was at an event that represented Black Lives Matter. I I mean, yeah, we can say he was there to protect property, which is true according to him, and he was there to stop the rioting and looting, but most Americans who use a firearm in regards to self-defense, they're either protecting their home a lot of them are clerks at you know a, a convenience store protecting their own property, a small business owner protecting their. So, Cal Rittenhouse protecting property is nothing special. Like I keep saying, there are thousands of Americans that use a firearm, so to speak, to even protect property. I mean, because if you're in your home or you're in your car and they're trying to do a carjacking or something of that nature. You pull out your firearm and you may have to use it in self-defense. And nobody is donating millions of dollars to these people. There are ridiculous amounts. And when I say ridiculous, I mean specifically ridiculous amounts of video surveillance of citizens using guns in self-defense to protect themselves from criminals that are trying to damage or steal their property. So 
nothing Cal Rittenhouse did in this case is anything special. So why is he being treated so special? Well, like I said, I believe it's because he was doing it at an event that was being perpetrated by Black Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter sympathizers. He stuck one to that group. And I, and the vast majority of people that chide Kyle Rittenhouse as a hero despise Black Lives Matter, which is kind of why I'm also wondering how is how is his comment on Tucker Carlson saying that he supports Black Lives Matter is going to go down? You know what would be really funny? <laughs> and like I said, I want to see you in the comments on this. I think it would be really funny if a local chapter in Wisconsin of Black Lives Matter offered their hand and friendship out to Kyle Rittenhouse and said, come hang out with us and let the public know that this was not about race. What do you think? You think Kyle Rittenhouse will show up to that shit? It's not about race. And he's on video saying he supports Black Lives Matter. Invite the man out. Now, anybody, literally anybody can represent Black Lives Matter. They get blamed for rioting and looting sometimes that shit anybody can do. I mean, you watching this video, regardless of how you feel about Black Lives Matter, whether you love them or hate them, you could throw a throw a, a Molotov cocktail into a church and yell Black Lives Matter. And the next day, the paper reads Black Lives Matter bombs church. You could be a fucking white supremacist and do that. So anybody can represent Black Lives Matter. So somebody, somebody with some power and prominence should invite Tuck, uh, not Tucker Carlson. <laughs> somebody should invite Kyle Rittenhouse. Listen, come have a sit down with us. Let's squash things and let everybody know this was not about race. Do you think Kyle Rittenhouse would show up to that shit? I just really would love to hear your opinion on that. But yes, was it about race? I think it was absolutely about Black Lives Matter, which was out there, um, out there protesting for a racial cause. I mean, keep in mind, regardless of what happened with Kyle Rittenhouse and the three individuals he shot, everybody there was there because of an it, because of an event that was racially motivated and that was the the shooting of Jacob Blake. So we're saying it's not about race but you take the racial element out of it and the whole event doesn't happen. So it's kind of hard to completely eradicate race from it. But I would love to be able to see the other side. And that's why I said it's a local Black Lives Matter chapter in Wisconsin. I don't give a shit if it's in Kenosha if it's in Ripon all the way at the top. Somebody should invite Kyle Rittenhouse out to have a conversation. And one of the things I will say is that, um, yeah, just about every town in America with a population of 50,000 or over has a Black Lives Matter, um, has had at least one Black Lives Matter event in that town. So it's not that, you know, there's only black people, uh, you know, promoting Black Lives Matter. I've said in, the, in another video and I don't want to make this one too long, but I just, I said in another video, if you are a white person historically that sympathizes with civil rights causes and movements from black people, you can get it too. That's why I always say never believe that a white on white event cannot have racial overtones to it. Throughout history, whites that marched with Martin Luther King or whites that even helped slaves escape they all faced being hung themselves once you start sympathizing with the plight of black folks you can get it too there is a term nigga lovers that means something and people white people have been put to death because they sympathize i mean it's, it's almost the same thing as treason if there's a war going on and you sympathize with the other side you're treasonous and you can be killed for an act of treating or basically being a traitor and that's the same thing so you know, the idea that just because he killed white people, you know, eliminates any possibility that it's a racial act is crazy. You watch movies like A Time to Kill with Matthew McConaughey. You remember that one? The moment he started defending Samuel L. Jackson, well, what happened? The white supremacists came after Matthew McConaughey. He's a white guy and white people that didn't like what he was doing came after him. Are we going to say it was not racially motivated? The whole movie was about race. Same thing if you've seen the older movie, uh, Mississippi Burning with Gene Hackman. Once again, it was the same shit. They were white guys, and the minute they came to that town, white federal agents, the minute they came to that town to start dealing with white supremacists, yeah, the white people went after them. So you, you definitely can be involved in a racial incident 
even though you're both the same race, if you're taking the wrong side on a racial cause. I'm going to end the video right there, but I would love to hear your, your uh, post in the comments of what do you think? You think that Kyle Rittenhouse would show up to a, if he was invited to a Black Lives Matter event to kind of squash the beef? What do you think? Anyways, your boy Tim, Mr. Handsome Liberal here. I will catch you in the next video.